Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to code. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an update and what I've been busy with with the past few months and the team in the background. It's very exciting stuff and I cannot wait to share it. What we'll also talk about is the upcoming educational videos that I have made for you so that you can teach yourself how to become great at programming. <laughs> I want to start off by saying thank you to the almost 34,000 subscribers to my channel. You guys have been amazing and I just want to simply say thank you for making my journey this awesome. If you are a fan and a part of the Hashtips family, leave a thumbs up on this video and a comment. I do have some time during the holidays to make those videos that you guys desire, so let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I also want to mention if you're new, go and subscribe because you'll learn a ton of coding conventions and how to become a better programmer. Now let's jump right into the update of what's been happening over the past few months. We'll start off by looking at the Hashtips art engine, the repo that kicked it off and made it possible for people to create generative art from layers. Now this repo has done pretty well and people are loving it. With over 2000 stars and almost at a thousand forks, you can see that people use it to create a lot of NFT projects. Now we are going to continuously update this repo, adding new features and we have a lot of strategic partnerships going to improve this and the experience of uploading your NFTs to the blockchain. On the support side of things, we have grown the Discord channel to almost 12,000 members, meaning there's a lot of support for if you get stuck in your coding learning journey. So please go ahead and subscribe to that channel, it's a great way to communicate and even meet developers for your next project. On the fun side of things, we have brought out the Sketchy Ape Book Club NFT collection and it is in second pre-sale phase within one day, the 17th of December. What makes this collection cool is that it's all hand-drawn artworks placed through the Art Generative program with the initiative to create the biggest community written book. And yes, I said book. Each NFT holder gets the chance to co-author with the whole community taking part in writing the biggest NFT book and it's going to be awesome. So if you want to go and check it out, I'm not a financial advisor, but I can advise that if you want to be a part of a fun NFT group, community and earn something amazing, go and check this channel out. It's at sketchyabookclub.com. This is the collection and we're super proud to almost have 500 owners in the very first pre-sale that took place the 14th of December. Now this is amazing because we still have a second pre-sale and the public sale coming up, so it's pretty cool. And that's why we have been so busy. So let me get to the coding part of things now. On the code side of things, in the past few months we have helped thousands of people, individuals, getting their collections on the blockchain. And this is amazing. And you know what? It makes me proud to say that I could have made some kind of difference in someone's life and I really appreciate the great feedback that we've been getting. Recently I've retweeted this tweet from MHouse, an innovative project that aims to highlight NFT innovators of the year. Now if you feel like I've made some kind of difference in your life whether it's with helping you with code or just brightening up your day on the spaces, please go ahead and nominate me. I would really appreciate it because it means that we get more eyes, more people who I get to teach about code. If you want to know how to nominate, you can click on this link, which will take you to the Medium article. And over here, you can click on nominate. It's a simple form that you have to fill out. And I would highly appreciate that. On the live side of things, I got a 3D printer and I'm going to show you what I printed so far. I've printed a pink lightsaber and it's half a lightsaber because I realized 3D printing takes long. I also printed a few items like these and my girlfriend made me these amazing hash lips luminescent signs which is amazing on the community side of things i have to say thank you so much for sending your nfts to me to review i know we're not going to do it in this video but soon i'll go through these nfts again and we'll review some to show off the amazing project so if you want to send your nfts you can do so all my details is in the description that we talk about in this video for the upcoming educational videos we'll be taking a look at canvas in depth this is a great way for us to understand how to draw on the HTML Canvas API that's provided in the browsers, which is amazing. We can achieve results such as this crowd simulation, which will actually be the video coming out after this one, so keep an eye out for that. 
Keeping to the NFT theme, we are still going to be looking at the ERC721 contract, how to improve it, how to make it cheaper in gas, or for instance, how to increase the price over time. We will also be taking a look at the ERC1155 contract, how to set that up and it's perfect for game assets to use, maybe on the Polygon chain. There's lots more of educational fun videos coming out, so leave your suggestions as well below in the comment section because I do read that and I do consider making those videos. I just want to say thank you for listening again. It's been a while, but thank you always. You guys have been amazing. I'll see you in the next video.